Hello, my test one, two, three. Hello, my test one, two, three. Uh, hello, my testing one, two, three. Hello, my test. Hello, my test one, two, three.
singing today led by the master's hand. Thank you. 
Sabbath, everyone. Happy Sabbath, everyone. It's so good to be in the house of the Lord this Sabbath morning. We are the Rafa Trio. The name Rafa means God is my healer. So today we are going to minister to you in music and the song that we are going to sing is entitled The Porter. Please may you be blessed by the words of the song, most importantly. We are from Africa, Zimbabwe and our names are Sharon, Christine and Juliana. May you be blessed. Thank you. In case you have fallen by the wayside of life, dreams and visions shatter.
Our Christian life is abundant with daily blessings. These we receive in big and small packages. They come to us in the forms of gifts, healing, blessings, challenges, warnings, and miracles, because God wants us to experience daily relationship with Him, so we can testify for Him, transform, and revive Christians, joyfully share God's love and goodness with all the people they meet. Because it is wise to learn from experience, it is wise to learn from the experiences of others. Friend, what is your story with Jesus? Welcome to Abundance of God's Grace. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Uh, this is devotional, sir, or testimony? Testimony, okay. <laughs> uh, there are so many things God is doing in these days, in these last days. And last December, by God's grace, we were able to join the Voice of Youth, which uh, we are advertising, sir. And uh, we learned so many things, you know, in uh, evangelistic work. What the most important thing I learned, I learned more is that I learned how to pray more. Because actually, if you see the work of God, if you see uh, all the things that we are supposed to do, you read the book Evangelism, you checklist yourself and you see all the limitations of your team, the limitations in time, the limitations in attitude, limitations everywhere. Uh, there is really, we, the only thing we can do is to rely on God's, on God's strength, on God's wisdom. You see the people, there are so many, uh, you don't know what they need, you don't know where they are in their spiritual life. And even yourself, you don't understand. The, the, it's the work of God is so wide that we really need to spend more time in prayer. I used to prepare every uh, sermon almost the whole day. I spent preparing, translating English to Tagalog notes. But uh, when I tried to pray more, preparation became easier. It was easier to preach if like I pray 30 minutes or one hour Instead of preparing the whole day, I can pray one hour or 30 minutes and I get to do other things. Uh, it is true, now I understand why the literature evangelists who are very successful, they pray two hours in the morning and they work two hours in the morning. And they pray two hours in the afternoon and they work two hours in the afternoon. And I also understand now why some very good preachers have so, have, have so much invitations. And then I found out these people pray a lot, like five hours, six hours, and they have uh, kalus, you know, kalyu, in their knees. So now I understand why uh, the revivalists in the revival times, they prayed three hours like Martin Luther and other people. Because the saying is true that when we pray, God works. Because, you know, if we, we really just uh, depend on our intellectual, our talents, our time, our, our, the gifts God has given us, they are very small compared to what we really need to do. So we, need, we really need to synchronize our minds with God with prayer. One more thing, uh, we were able to, uh, by God's grace, we were able to, I was able to participate in visiting homes. I wanted to do that because I didn't know how to do that before. And uh, there is the, the work of God is so wide in that church, the, the, the church elders, the pastors, they are so dedicated. Even my team, I especially admire the foreigners who join Voice of Youth. You know, have, have you, if you have been to a foreign country or a country or, or a section, an area in the Philippines where the dialect you don't understand, you try to listen to their hour of worship. I don't know if you enjoy it very much, but it's uh, very, you know, not very nice, uh, not very, not the best thing to listen to a foreign la a tongue you don't understand. But the foreigners who join Voice of Youth, I admire these people. They endure like 27 sermons, 28 sermons in Tagalog, and they pretend to listen, you know. There is a gift of tongues, but I think they also have gift of hearing. <laughs> but uh, really, I admire the foreigners who join in the Voice of Youth. And 
when we come back to AUP, especially last Sabbath, we have the Voice of Youth Testimonies in the Finster Chapel the whole afternoon until the night. I observe that the people who go back from Voice of Youth, they have so many things to say. Their, their faces are glowing, you know, with happiness because they have experience with God. But the people who, who don't join, they just come back like, you know, the same thing. So I really wish everybody can join all kinds of revival, evangelistic work because in this work, we experience God. We experience uh, how God is true. We realize the greatness of God, the greatness of His work, and the power of the word. It says in, in the fundamental belief, sorry, you assigned me to have one verse. So I will just uh, give my favorite verse in our fundamental beliefs. Number one, Holy Scriptures. It says in Isaiah 8.20, To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. The nice thing about our church is that all our official GC level, at least, beliefs and practices are according to the word. And even if uh, the church is not perfect, the last day events book says, God will set everything in order. And the people who are faithful they will become the church triumphant, of course, uh, some will not be faithful and uh, will be replaced by others. So, our beliefs are all according to the word. I want to emphasize the accordingness. You know, when we say according, in Tagalog, it's ayon, right? Ayon. For example, uh, let me ask a question. Is there any verse in the Bible that prohibits infant baptism? I don't know, but I don't know anyone who knows any verse in the Bible that prohibits infant baptism. Why don't we do it? Because it's not according, right? It's not according to the word. So our denominations, hermeneutic, is very strict. We are not looking for everything that is not prohibited. Instead, we are looking for everything that is encouraged. That is more strict. If we are looking for everything that is not prohibited, and we do it, then we can baptize infants. We can sprinkle baptisms. Because it is not in conflict, right? It is not negated. But it is not encouraged. And I assure you, when I read the fundamental beliefs, all of them are according. Very strict, according. So that is safer. The great controversy controversy says in the chapter Holy Scriptures, there will be a people on the face of the earth who will take the Bible and the Bible only as the basis of all reforms and basis of all doctrines and precepts. So it even says our demand should be a clear thus saith the Lord. If God says, we do. If God does not say in the Bible, we just, maybe it's not really according, you know. So Isaiah 8.20, according to the word. So it's a big privilege to share. Okay, one more thing. That is a rather funny experience in the voice of youth. Is, uh, you know, in our evangelistic slides, there is a picture of Jesus hanging on the cross. And then the, the notes says, the notes by Mark Finley says, the soldiers gave him, Jesus said, I'm thirsty. And the soldiers gave him... In the English Bible, it says vinegar mixed with gall. And then Jesus tasted, and then he did not want to drink, the Bible says. In Tagalog, the verse says, Alak na may abdu. So I asked the congregate, the, the audience, I said, well, how come in the English it says vinegar, in Tagalog it says alak? I didn't really know the answer, I just asked. And Praise the Lord. Somebody answered. Somebody old in the, in the audience. He said, because, sir, it is fermented. Who? In English, vinegar. In Tagalog, ala. It's fermented. That means, according to the translators of the Bible, vinegar is fermented. 
Oh, that's why when I look at the ketchup, there is vinegar. Oh. And then when I look at the mayonnaise, there is vinegar. Oh. I was wondering, <laughs> how come? <laughs> but Jesus did not explain, right? Because Jesus said, there are many things I have to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. But I will send the comforter who will teach you all things. That's why God sent the Holy Spirit, bringing Jesus' name, said everything to Ellen G. White. That's why Ellen G. White explains why Jesus did not like to drink the vinegar. Because thou, it will benumb his senses and lessen his uh, mental ability. So even if he was dying on the cross, he did not want to take anything that will lessen his mind. Okay. There is one more funny thing that happened in the voice of you. The nice thing, you know, if, even if we don't, we are not, uh, don't know sometimes what we are saying, but God completes. God sends people from the audience. One time I was reading, you know, in the judgment presentation, there's a saying, we will be judged by the idle words that we say. Right? Judgment. So, <laughs> Instead of reading the idle words in the slide, I translated it myself. I said, we will be judged by the jokes. I said, we will be judged by the jokes. Because there was so much joking in, the, in, our, in, our, uh, in that area. So I said, we will be judged by our jokes, huh? you see. And then when we went home, I forgot all about it. And I was starting to joke the, the helper, the Mamian helper in the house. And then she told me, Oh, sir, bakit ka nagjo-joke? Sabi mo kanina, bawal mag-joke. Sabi ko, oh, ano? <laughs> so, you know, it's really true in Joel 2.28 and uh, 2.32 and Acts 2.17 to 21. It says, in the last days, the Spirit of the Lord shall be poured out on the all flesh, and the handmaids and the servants will shall prophesy. Ngayon, binabanatan ako na itong katulong ng mangyan, ng small lady. Sabi niya, bawal daw mag-joke. Actually, I typed jesting in the English Bible. Jesting is a rough joke. It says, neither jesting but giving of thanks. So the Bible discourages us from jesting. Jesting is rough jokes if you look at the dictionary. But in the Tagalog Bible, it's not rough jokes. It says pagbibiru. <laughs> so lahat kasama sa Tagalog na Bible. Instead of joking, <laughs> we have to give thanks, you know, praise the Lord. So, uh, because everything, all the things that we say are listed in the books of heaven and the Bible says we will be judged even our, our idle words, even our motives will be judged. So, you know, when you join, especially when you preach, it's such a great blessing because you yourself, tinatamaan ka ng mga messages and it sanctifies us. That is the process of salvation part of that. So, we give glory to God for all the work that He is doing that we have small part in helping and the privilege. It is a privilege to uh, work with them. So I encourage everyone to join the Voice of Youth. It is very, very nice. It is so nice that I wish everybody will have a chance, <laughs> at least, or even to preach in the Voice of Youth. Because the truth is so sweet, you know? The truth is so nice, so powerful. The truth will not change. People have to change. So, and we have to repent of all our sins and the, you know, the truth is very, very nice. That's also. Thank you very much, uh, Brother Winwin Pasamba. So today we, uh, we received uh, uh, a testimony, devotional, what else? A promotion. <laughs> And the voice of you, the 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. And uh, of course, we'd like to say thank you to the Rafa, our Rafa singers, and Michelle Berasha. Thank you. So, uh, brothers and sisters, we are very happy that uh, you are here now at this point in time because we would like to, uh, you know, do the welcome as much as possible with more people, okay, with more people in our uh, congregation. So, today, it's time to greet each and every one. Happy Sabbath. Shall we all stand while we sing our Happy Sabbath song and try to uh, reach out all the people around us. Let's try to reach out all of them reach, uh, by shaking our hands with them. Shall we, all, uh, shall we do that? Shall we all stand? Okay. And uh, please, uh, you can move around. 
the hall to say happy Sabbath to everyone. Happy Sabbath. Just smile and say happy Sabbath.